Once again, welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm your host, Emeril Habendonger. Welcome to our new session where we'll be sharing and talking about the pre-realization and uh, SRF and SRD preparations. Simply put, in the lemmer term, it's uh, a process by which uh, your minerals or any uh, samples taken from the ground where you assume that there is a mineral are taken to the lab for crushing and preparation uh, process so we can determine the content of that uh, minerals or in that particular sample so um, that is the process that we'll be uh, sharing in this uh, video we try our best to uh, get the glimpse uh, you know of the whole process me myself being in the lab and then uh, recording the step-to-step -step processes and uh, to just show you and uh, remind you uh, to help you scholars uh, uh, businesses uh, lab and uh, especially uh, metallurgists to once again review and understand um, broadly and uh, in, in simple terms and simple way of doing your pulverization and sample preparations our pulverization will start by first crushing our telling samples and putting it in the fill uh, spin refill equipment and we use this roller first we we'll take the scoop and take samples and put it in the bag and thereafter we use the roller to start gently crushing the tailings samples into a bag then we we'll do that gently avoiding any uh, you know burst of the plastics and gently crushing it up until it becomes really fine then why do we crush our tailings our tailings after being um, you know after coming from the mines or for, for the for the processing plants it get dumps and get lumpy due to compactions and weathering so it becomes either kind of lumps and when the compactions and the weathering happens our material becomes lumpy so therefore to process it or to pulverize it it needs to be crushed so that this lumpy can come back to its original forms and remember that these tailings are literally gang which gang which has been uh, disposed after extraction of minerals and those are dumped and you know and becomes compacted so therefore the process is to crush them gently into the roller so that it can come back to its powder or its greenish forms and then after it can be pulled in the spin refill equipment and this is used mostly for pgms and uh, gold samples uh, and all the things is crushed however we also have product like graphite the, this is our graphite samples and this is the fine mature that it becomes after that this we using a different method which is using the shaking table the, the shaking uh, equipment this is like a milling a milling a different milling plant which consists of putting our samples in those uh, roundish uh, pots filling our samples and therefore uh, pulverizing, pulverizing it but this is a pure this is not the tailings but this is uh, a mineral by itself which is graphite so this is a shaking table it shakes uh, those lumps inside to crush our graphite into small piece of materials and remember those are not tailings those therefore are real minerals found and the idea is this is how it has been originally in the natural form and this is how our graphite has been powdered after being crushed after being milled by this um you know uh, uh, circulic you know steel this is a very fine this has been pulverized to fine material and then therefore it will be spin refill again so that it can be separated uh, and, and grouped in 250 grams so you can go for XRD and SRF preparations. So it's very important that we understand the pulverization process given uh, the type of material that we're having at hand. 
then after our crushing our material will be put in a spin refill and um, for a purpose of separating and splitting the minerals equally and this is the regulator to regulate the flow of our materials or our samples in the spin refill so they can equally be separated avoiding having a high grade on the other side and the goal is to have 250 gram per uh, separations so you can use one for our next preparations from here we will go to do the sample preparation for XRD and SRF preparations um, which starts by first mixing 5 gram of saxol wax and then uh, 10 gram of our samples and these are samples are 250 gram samples that was taken from the spin refill uh, method and you need to use our saxol wax uh, weigh it to be uh, 5 gram and in our 10 gram samples which therefore has to be mixed with um, you know in this uh, small calibers and that needs therefore to be pressed uh, for in about 250 tons and then we use our descriptions which we put our residues or sorry, our mixed immediately yeah. in, in a small cap after well mixed and prepared yeah. it is very important to make sure that um, your sample is well filled so you can have a full small break out of that after being pressed so therefore after that we use our our pressing equipment to try and uh, set up our samples in within for pressing so use the step that I'm using um, you know, gradually to have a proper one and then you put it you plug it while uh, in the middle of our pressing equipment our press actually it's called so those are just specifications for those who want to buy one uh, is for lab purposes and, and so and so forth this is specifically for sample for, for for analysis purposes so then uh, we'll press uh, this material in about 25 tons so we can have a small break after pressing, uh, here is my press, and we have um, uh, two samples. So this is my second one, and then this is my first one right there on the table. So then uh, we have to label it, and then we have to bring uh, this to the XRF uh, and my other powder for the XRD test. So therefore, this is the XRF. Uh, machine equipment or scanner which are determined the chemical composition of our samples so they uh, can determine the remainings instead of tailings and then they can determine the chemical compositions or the mineral composition of our minerals so you can make a proper uh, analysis once again thank you I hope uh, you enjoy the video and you enjoy the step-to-step -step process uh, on our previous up to our sample preparation to the, the SRF and SRD machine pulling. Uh, this has been uh, really um, the process holistically, though there is more to it, it depends on the type of uh, samples that you're bringing and the preparation process may vary. But also there is uh, one safety uh, uh, features that were not highlighted and for more information about it, please contact us too 
the email address that will be posted uh, in these videos uh, and you know and how uh, in our whatsapp we can always discuss and give you some guidance for those who want our consulting uh, work uh, please um, though the video will not be in uh, a good quality we will try our best to compile this uh, while working um, I hope this has helped you and uh, make you understand uh, broadly and holistically uh, about uh, perversion and some perversion. Please stay tuned to our YouTube channel. Please uh, press the notification button and also subscribe to our YouTube and give us a thumbs up if you like it. I hope I'll see you in our next sharing. Um, please have uh, a good day and stay safe. Ciao.